Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. And if you're not new here, you guys probably already know that I have a newfound love with concrete and cement DIYs. You may have recalled that I bought this very heavy box. It is 25 pounds of cement. And I know some of you guys were also inspired to buy a giant box of cement, so I thought it'd be fun to show some DIYs with it. And there are seriously so many things that you could do with it, but these are just a few ideas, and I can't wait to show you guys them. And I'm really excited to partner up with Anna Luisa, who is the sponsor of today's video, and I am decked out in their jewelry today, as I am most days. I've been wearing their pieces for quite a while now, and all of the pieces are such high quality. I haven't noticed any tarnishing on them. I love supporting them because they are a sustainable brand and they are also carbon neutral, which is super awesome. Their Mother's Day sale is happening right now, so I did pick up a few pieces for my mom and if she's watching right now, which I know she is because she watches all of my videos, please click off mom. Okay, let's see what I got her. Oh, this is so pretty. So here's the first necklace that I got her. It's very simple and elegant. There are little tiny diamonds on here and it's just so dainty and simple and cute and I love it and I know that she'll love it for sure. This next piece, let's see. Oh my gosh, so this is actually a piece that my mom wanted. She commented on one of my videos where I actually bought these for myself and she's like, I like those earrings, hee <laughs> hee. So I got her a pair of these and these are seriously some of my favorites. They're these little tiny huggy earrings and I absolutely love them and I think they'll look good on honestly anybody. And what's also really great about them is that this is great for people with sensitive skin. So my mom has sensitive skin and I think she gave that to me because I have sensitive ears now. So Ana Luisa earrings are seriously the only ones that I wear. I wear this pair like almost every day and I love them. And I did grab a little something for me. So these are just so cute They're kind of similar to the ones that I wear every day But these ones just make a little bit more of a statement and I really love them I cannot wait to wear them and I honestly just had to get something for myself because I love wearing jewelry I think it's a great way to just express yourself Even if you're just in a t-shirt and sweatpants on zoom calls all day like I am Jewelry definitely still makes a statement and one of my co-workers actually complimented me the other day on my earrings And I felt a little special so whether you're shopping for your mom or for yourself You should definitely check out their sale and I'll have all the details linked down below. Before jumping in, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and let's go ahead and get into the first project. Hello from VoiceOver Tina. For all of our cement DIYs, I'm going to use cement all and I'm just going to add that into a cup and you can find this at your local hardware store. Then I'm pouring in water a little bit at a time and I'm not doing any exact measurements here, but from what I've learned from the internet and working with it, it should be roughly a four to one ratio of cement to water. But essentially what I'm going for is a thick pancake-like consistency for our mixture. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna create a base color by adding in acrylic paint. So here you'll see I'm using a mixture of white and browns and the cement that I'm using is actually a light gray color. So I was curious to see if we would be able to make a lighter brown color and I found that adding in some yellows and oranges really helped it look a little bit more brown. But of course, if you can get white cement, that would be even better. This is just what my local store had, so I'm working with it. So this color should be nice and blended and I'm going to move on to the next step by creating a marbled effect. So for this color scheme, I'm using a dark brown color and I'm just gonna loosely mix this up to create the veining of the marble. And for this step, it's important not to over mix because we don't want it to blend into our base color. That's definitely something that we wanna avoid. All right, so now it's time to pour and we wanna get it into every corner of this mold. For some reason, I sprayed on some cooking oil into my mold, but honestly, I did not need to do that since this is a silicone mold, it will pop right out. But for some reason, my brain decided to do that. Then I just tap the sides of the mold as well as tapping it onto the table and this is going to release some of those air bubbles trapped inside. Now I'm going to let that sit aside to cure and harden and you'll know when it's ready when the cement has cooled down completely. As it's setting, it'll actually heat up and when it's done, it'll be cool to the touch. So after waiting a few hours, I just popped it out of the mold and this is so satisfying to do every single time because you never know how it's gonna turn out, but I think this one turned out so good. This next part, I was actually very nervous to do, but I'm going to break off about two thirds of the tray and I basically sandwiched it in between two towels and then using my hammer, I'm gonna give it a good tap. Luckily, we got a clean break, so now we have these two pieces and now I'm gonna pop in the larger piece back into that mold. 
So for my design, I want to include some florals. So I'm using these gorgeous dried florals and I'm gonna face them upside down so that the front of the flower will be upright on the tray. And this project is kind of similar to one that I created previously with Jasminite, but I wanted to try a cement version of that DIY since Jasminite isn't as accessible. And I think this project turned out really well. So if you watched that project and you liked it, definitely give it a try with some cement. So the placement is looking really good and I'm just gonna go ahead and mix up some clear epoxy resin and we'll need a one-to-one -one ratio of this. So I'm gonna give that a really good stir and I'm gonna let it sit for a bit for the bubbles to pop before pouring it into our mold. And once you pour it, you will still have a little bit of working time. So if you wanted to, you can totally just move things around. I also want to make a disclaimer here to wear a mask when you're working with both the cement and the epoxy resin. And as always, have ample ventilation in your workspace to protect yourself. And of course, before letting it set, we're going to go ahead and tap the sides to make sure that all the bubbles pop. I'm going to let that sit overnight to cure completely. And then after it's cured, we can just pop it back out and it's ready to go. This tray is so perfect for your jewelry and accessories or even to use as decor in any room of your home. I love the neutral colors that I went with in the flowers and the marbling and I think it gives it such a luxurious vibe. But of course, you can recreate this project using any colors that you guys like. This was such a fun project to do and just experiment with it and I really love the end result. For our next DIY, I'm using these silicone molds that are used for little planters or candles. So we're gonna make one of each using the same technique. And since these are deeper molds, they do come with this plastic shell to help keep its shape. All right, so all we're doing for this cement project is coloring it with a bunch of different acrylic paints. So I actually used some of the leftover cement from the first project in the same exact cup and I added in more water and cement. So for this first color, I'm creating this muted yellow, and once that was well mixed up, I poured it into a corner of the mold. I wanted these to be a very organic layered look, so for each one of these pores, I'm trying my best to keep it in one section at a time until I get to the top. And I basically made enough for both molds so that I could work on them at the same time. And you'll see in the cup that I still have cement left over, so I'm going to add in a little bit more cement and some water and then adding in another acrylic paint to change the color. For this color, I created a neutral pinky peach color and then I'm just going to pour that into another section of the mold and essentially I'm just repeating this process of layering all the colors. My inspo for this project is just to use fun warm colors like yellow, orange, pink, and browns to create a boho desert vibe. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys probably already know that I love that color palette and it just makes me happy, so that's what I'm going to create today. And one thing to keep in mind as you're creating these colors is that they will dry lighter, but I found with the more paint that you add, the more vibrant the color will be. And of course, with each layer, I'm tapping it against the table to pop some of those air bubbles, as well as move the cement around. As I've worked more and more with cement, I find that sometimes air bubbles are inevitable. So for this project, if there were any larger air bubbles and things, I really didn't mind because I think it adds to the organic look of it. Okay, so I'm loving all the colors that we have going on here. And once we got to the top, I actually poured in a little bit too much. So I just went ahead and used another popsicle stick to scrape it off. And now we're gonna let that sit for a few hours or you could also let it sit overnight. Now it's time to demold, so I had to go ahead and remove that outer shell first. And honestly, this was a little bit difficult to get started, but I found that if you shimmy it off, it worked pretty well. And now for the moment of truth, our colors are going to be revealed and I think they are looking gorgeous and layered. And even though there were a few air pockets here and there, I really did not mind them at all. I think it adds to the stone look and I really love it. Okay, and here's how the second one came out. I think this one also looks amazing, and I seriously just love how these colors look together. It honestly makes me happy just looking at it. Before moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and take some sandpaper and sand down the bottom of both of these pieces. And sometimes I find that I don't need to sand the bottom, especially if I pour it evenly, but for both of these, they definitely needed it. All right, so I wanted to make a candle out of the square one, so I'm going to use a candle from Dollar Tree and just melt it down. So first, I'm gonna remove the wick so that we can reuse it for our candle. And then I created a double boiler on my stove top and I let that candle melt down. And with the wick clip, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it to the center of the bottom to keep it secure. Once my candle was melted, I slowly poured it into my new candle holder and then I also added some chopsticks to the top to keep the wick in place. So now all we have to do is to wait for our candle to dry and add a plant to our other one and this project is done. 
Both of these pieces are seriously so adorable. I love that you'll get a new design every time using this layering technique. And this DIY is so much fun because you'll never know what you're going to get. I'm obsessed with the candle because I don't have anything else like it in my house. And this planter is the perfect addition to my growing collection. So I hope that you guys like this project and try it out at home. So I saved the easiest project for last, and for this one, we're gonna create our own molds. You'll need some contact paper or vinyl or some sort of paper material with a glossy finish. For mine, I'm using a chalkboard label from the dollar store. And to start, I'm basically going to create a triangle, so I'm going to measure it on both sides so that they're the same length, and then I'm just gonna cut that out with a pair of scissors. From there, we're gonna go ahead and roll this into a cone, and we wanna make sure that the glossy side is facing the inside since that's where our cement is gonna sit. And for this step, I'm matching the two edges together as best as I can, and I'm following a tutorial from a blog post by DIY and PDX. She actually created her own template for these cones, so I'll link that down below if you would like to use it, but for mine, I just found that this worked perfectly fine as well. So we're gonna tape it all together, and I also added in a little bit extra tape at the tip to make sure that it's secure and that nothing would leak out. So I created a few of these and they're going to vary in size depending on how large or small or even tall you cut out your paper. And now we're ready to add in some cement. So for these, I did not end up adding any coloring to it, but I think that doing the marbling or layering technique from the previous two projects would also work out really great for this project. To balance it out while drawing, I followed the blog post and I actually created this little holder for it by cutting out an X and then placing it right in there with the pot underneath. And if you have a narrow vase, that would also work really perfectly, or even using chopsticks to hold it up on both sides. And these actually harden pretty quickly since they're quite small, so I only waited a couple of hours to be safe, and then we're ready to remove the mold. I used a pair of scissors to help me rip it off, and you'll see that there's going to be a little seam from where the edges of the paper met. So to make it look more seamless, I'm going to sand it down, and if this doesn't really bother you, you can totally just face it in the back and no one would know. And I also went ahead and sanded on the bottom just to make sure that it would stand up straight. And you could totally leave these as is or paint them, so I'm gonna do a mixture of both. So for one of them, I'm using a liquid gold leaf paint to add some splattering, and I would highly recommend that you wear gloves for this part just because the paint is super thick and hard to get off of your hands. But you could also use some regular old acrylic paint for the splattering, and that would look great as well. For one of the other ones, I actually ended up just dipping it right into the paint and this gave it a nice even layer and made it super straight. If you're using acrylic paint, you can also achieve the same look by taping it off and painting it as usual. And that's all there is to this project. We're gonna go ahead and let it dry and this project is ready for display. I think these came out super cute and I love the gold paint. I think it definitely elevated the look. These would make such a great gift for someone and honestly, I think all the projects from today's video would make a great gift. There are seriously so many different DIYs that you can make with cement and this one is just a super fun, quick and easy one that's definitely worth giving a try. I seriously love every single one of the projects from today's video, but let me know down below which one was your favorite. I really love how the jewelry tray came out, and I also love the candles, so it's a toss-up between the two of those. And of course, my DIYs were not complete without the jewelry I styled them with, so thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget to shop their Mother's Day sale by clicking the link down below. I think this is the best time to shop, especially for your mom or for yourself. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. And if you recreate any other products from today's video, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I post on there every single day. And of course, I will post some of your beautiful recreations on the screen here. Every single time that you guys DM me or tag me in your projects, it makes me so happy. So thank you so much for sharing them with me. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!